I'm at the driving range last week. I'm hitting golf balls. I'm having a great time. I got my wireless earbuds in. I love to hang out there when I've got some free time. It's a good place to go and get some exercise. And I like a, a crazy man. I, I took my earbuds out and I set them down and I left them. I lost them. What a disaster because because I'm always listening to something while while I'm out there. And so, uh, but I got good news. I'm uh, I'm holding in my hand here. If you're watching on YouTube, you can see I've got my new, uh, these are, what do they say? They're Tozo wireless earbuds. I've been using them the last 24 hours and they are, uh, they're better than my old ones, which were, were really great. I was, I was disappointed when I went back to try to order them and they don't make them anymore. So now I've got the, I've got the Tozos. These are really good. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped to have these. All right. Welcome to Chasing Greatness. This is the podcast where we help you win at work win at home and ultimately win at life which is what we're talking about today uh these are noise canceling earphone earphones we're going to talk about noise today on the podcast uh as we get going here so thanks for sub subscribing downloading some of you're watching on youtube you're listening on itunes spotify all those places you get your podcast that's great hit the thumbs up button if you haven't left a review yet i i really would love for you to do that i'd love for you to give us a great review five stars would be helpful uh it helps us spread the word and get it get it out to more people to help them uh be great as well we're trying to make the world a better place not just for you but for the people around you uh you can help them be great as well so these new uh earbuds uh i put them in last night and i was surprised that they they literally did a really good job of canceling the noise around um I, the, the the tv was on in the background and uh, I was in, I happened to be in the room where the TV was on in the, in the other room next door. And I didn't even hear it. I, I looked up and I noticed that the TV was on. I'm thinking, what in the world? I, I can't hear that. I mean, it was, it, which, which is the point of noise cancellation, but it made me start thinking about this idea of noise. And, uh, we live in a noisy world, don't we? I mean, think about your life right now. If you, if you really want to win at life and I'm assuming you do, or you wouldn't be listening to this, you're trying to to uh to live in this world and and say okay how can i get better at what i'm doing that's what we talk about here and the the fact is we live in a world that is more noisy than it's ever been uh and 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 how much money you have where you live your demographic all that that actually all determines your decibel level as well i've, I've done a little research on this and I'm reading some stuff. And if you live in the city, your decibel level is higher. If you live in a uh, in a low income area, your decibel levels are higher. Uh, some of you, you you've got you know a place where you can be quiet. But the truth is uh, that there is there is noise around us almost all the time. Uh, some of the stuff I read was even talking about how the the national parks are more noisy than there's this there's this there's this underlying noise, uh, not, not, not just the, the park noise, but like, uh, outside noise that, that comes in and you can hear with planes and, and trucks and all kinds of stuff going on in all these areas. Uh, it said that 97% of, of, uh, Americans are literally, uh, unable to escape noise all the time. Well, that's all, you know, that's all, uh, it, it, that, that sounds pretty, hard when you think about just the noise around i'm i'm sitting outside here today and yeah, i can hear dogs barking and and uh, hopefully we can filter that out here on the audio but well, i got the tree frogs going i got trucks i heard a minute ago there was a motorcycle er earlier i just sat and started listening and there's just a lot of noise around but but that's not the only kind of noise i'm talking about there's digital noise in our lives like never before i talked on monday's podcast about uh, and on our when at work episode about just the one spot of digital noise that comes in called email uh, is it's it's astounding when you look at uh, the number of emails I think it was 1602 emails uh, the average person has in their inbox that that's unread which is crazy I had 34 when I was talking about that I'm, I'm making progress towards zero I'm excited about that uh, but I, I want to have an inbox it's clean but I was with a guy the other day, and I looked, and he had several hundred emails on his the, the little notification thing. We were swapping info or contact info, and he pulled his phone up, and I saw that, and and I noticed uh, uh, that there's not just the email, you know, uh, stamp there on his iPhone, but 
but we also got the, the text me the messages as well. And, and so many of us have several hundred messages as well. And so all these places where noise comes in, we're always listening to stuff. We're watching, uh, you know, I mentioned TV a minute ago. The TV's on sometimes. We try not to watch a lot of TV, but, you, I mean, if you're like, you know, the average person, the television's on all the time. News is a lot of noise these days. I'm not saying we don't need the news, but it can just become digital noise. There is a, a facet of the news where they're, they're in business to capture our attention, to sell ads to people. I mean, it, it, and so if we don't, we're not aware of that. It's just more noise into our lives. Um, we binge watch stuff on, on uh, Netflix and, and Hulu and Amazon and all these places where, you know, it's just, it's just more and more noise if we're not careful. Um, and, and then I was, I was thinking about one other area where noise comes in and it's in our own thoughts. I mean, so many of us are in our own heads with, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're listening to, uh, the negative. We're listening to the despair. We're listening to how hard things are. And we get this, this constant barrage of noise. And I want you to think about your life here for a second. What would it be like for you to have a life of quiet? And I didn't even mention social media with Twitter and Instagram and, you know, TikTok and whatever your social media channels are, LinkedIn. I mean, you, you've got all these places where it's just constant noise, 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 noise. How cool would it be if you could live with more quiet? I love the words of the Apostle Paul uh, who wrote about half of the New Testament. If you're a Bible reader, you, you, you know who Paul is. Um, and he, uh, he made a statement uh, in, in a letter he wrote to the church at Thessalonica. It's, it was his church, uh, the Thessalonian church, it was called. And he made the statement as he, as he wrote this letter. He said, make it your ambition to lead a quiet life. Make it your now. Now he wasn't talking about digital noise. He wasn't even talking about noise in the context of this passage. But I want to, I want to borrow that that phrase, and I want I want to lay it on this conversation here. Make it your ambition to lead a quiet life. Now I think it's pretty incredible uh, for a writer. I'll, I'll 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 shout out to Paul here. <laughs> He's been gone a long time, but his words live on. And and here here's. To me, a writer who puts the word ambition and the word quiet in the same sentence, that's pretty incredible. Uh, as a writer myself, I'm thinking, how, this guy is like, there's, there's this dichotomy there of ambition. We're chasing greatness. We're trying to be our best. We're trying to push. And, and yet our ambition is not just to uh, have a lot of stuff going on, to be busy, to achieve things even. Uh, ambition, uh, achievement really shouldn't be our ambition. Uh, legacy should be our ambition. Helping other people, serving people, that, those, those are things that we ought to be ambitious about. And I like uh, his, his admonition to make it your ambition to lead a quiet life. And I don't know about you, but um, quiet is, is so important, almost uh, on, the, on the borderline of being sacred to us. It, I mean, sacred things happen in quiet spaces. And I think it's very hard for, um, for us to, to have a healthy soul, uh, a healthy heart, um, healthy mind, emotion, spirit, whatever you want to call it. Uh, if, if we've just, if we just got noise constantly. And so my challenge to you here as, as we think through this concept today is, to, uh, to make it your ambition to create at least some quiet in your life. You may not feel like you can lead a quiet life yet. That would be your ambition. I hope, I hope you can get there and do what the Bible says that you ought to, you ought to come to a place where you say, you know what, quiet is going to be um, something that, that's going to be really important to me because I think a lot of great things come out of quiet. Your best ideas are going to come out of quiet. Your best projects are going to come uh, because you have had a vision, you 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 said, okay, this is the way things are. This is the way they can be. Sometimes that'll happen in a brainstorming meeting with your team or whatever you're leading. But a lot of times that'll happen when you're you're sitting uh, maybe on your porch with with a legal pad and a pen, and you're saying, okay, uh, let me just have some think time. Let me have some like let me have some dream time. Let me have some vision time. 
uh, if you don't have that, you're going to really struggle um, to to feel like you've accomplished something when you get on the on the on down the road. You, if it's just noise, 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 you're just going to have a noisy life. And I th and I think the best people who uh, are, are the most impactful people are ones who at some level have some quiet built into their life. The, 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 the most impactful people I know, I talk to them and like, what are some of the rhythms of your life? And one of, one of these rhythms that keeps showing up over and over again is this idea of silence and, and solitude. They, they get by themselves at times. And for some of you, that's going to be a real challenge. Um, I got a buddy who's, a, who's pretty introverted and he said, uh, the pandemic when everybody got sent home and he said that that was my dream it's like i i didn't like going to the office and being with the people and all that that was that was hard for me but 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 uh some of you you live for being with people and and you need to hear me say there there's some times you need to be alone not lonely I, I, none of us need to be lonely but there are times when we need to be alone where we need to be quiet where we need to be able to process what's going on in our lives. And, and ultimately I think I would even say as a person of faith, we need to have some space where we're quiet so we can actually know who God is. There's a, there's a verse in the Bible that says, be still and know that I'm God. There's another place where, where it says that God spoke to, I think it was Elijah or Elisha, one of the prophets back in the old Testament. It says that, that he spoke to, to him in, in a, in a still small voice. It was not in the thunder. It was not in the no, I mean, it wasn't in the noise. It was in the quiet. And so um, for you, I, I'm guessing uh, you're, if, you, if you've got noise, 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 it, there, there's, there's a good chance that emotionally you're not, you're not feeling you know, where you need to be. Uh, mentally, maybe you're feeling challenged in ways that you shouldn't be if you're listening to bad news all the time. Uh, maybe even spiritual, you're having a hard time feeling like you can connect with God because there's just noise all the time. And so I think it's powerful for us to, to uh, understand that we don't have to, to live in uh, or, or we don't have to yield to the noise all the time. We're going to live in a world of noise. We know that. It's coming. It's, they're not going to stop the news. They're not going to stop social media. They're not going to stop. But we, we actually have a chance to, to uh, utilize the off button or the or the um, or the power down button, whatever it is you need to do, uh, I want to challenge you to make quiet a part of your life. It, it needs to have a priority if you're going to really be great. Noise is going to be there whether you prioritize it or not. Quiet won't be. Quiet is not going to get on your schedule uh, unless you prioritize it and make it uh, something that you're going to you're going to give some time to. So I don't know when that is for you. It might be the first hour of the day. It might be the last hour of the day. It might be both those two hours. It might be the middle of the day. It might be on Thursday afternoon. You're going to put a couple hours every week to go and do. Uh, you get to decide. But if you don't decide, it's going to be noisy. It's going to be noisy. It's never going to be quiet. I hope you'll make it your ambition to lead a quiet life. Uh, I, I appreciate you listening to this. I know you've, you've, in some ways, this has violated quiet, but hopefully it's been helpful. We're trying to help you here. But what do we do with what we get here? What do we do to help us get better? One of the things that I'm going to do this afternoon is I'm going to pull back and I'm going to have some time for some quiet. It's going to be really good uh, for me in, in every area of my life. And hopefully down the road, it'll even be good for you. You'll benefit from some of my quiet as well. And the people around you will uh, for you. So if you'll, if you'll really lock in on those times, I'm, I'm just really believing that you're going to have better ideas, better projects, better, more effectiveness, all that stuff. And uh, your thinking is going to just be better. And I think even at a, at a soul level, joy level, heart level, you're going to be better as well, which will be, which will be a lot of fun uh, on the backside of that. So let's here, here's the homework. Let's go be quiet. All right. See you guys next week.